Welcome back to Cardi's YT channel. In this video, I'll thumbnail such as how to create a real life AI Jarvis assistant with the greatest features like running our AI locally without the internet. And it's also free of cost. We are not going to create a specific AI, but we are just using the open source AI model and integrating it to our PC. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Let's dive into this topic. So I'm going to open my browser, go to olama.com. This is the open source AI to download your AI models. You can click on here models to see the list of models but before you need to download the executive file so you should go and download it for windows so i have already done it and you need to install it i think basically you know how to do that click on next next and install it that's it so next we go to the models and click here and we see n number of models here you can download anything you want guys trust me this is all free so let's go to llama 3.1 and yep llama 3.1 let's click here and it says llama 3.1 about this model they gave a brief description about this model you can see how fast is this llama 3.1 with comparing to gpt4 omini cloud etc the reason why i chose this model is <laughs> i'm gonna tell you why let's go to the github page now so here uh, you can see at the bottom here you see the model library right you can see here that hma3 uses a size of 815 mb and uh, this is the code how to download the gemma3 but um you see the note here you should have at least 8 gb of ram available to run the 7b models and 16 gb to run the 13 b models so you can see that the parameters here it is like 1b 4b like so in order to run a 7b model or uh, below the 7b model you need at least 8 gb of ram since i have some Something like 16 GB of RAM. I prefer to use Llama 3.1 with this 8B model. And, uh, I don't find anything below 13B like a general AI model. So I went for 3.1. But you can also use a lower model or you can also use higher model. And yeah, you can also go for Mistral. This code Llama is specifically for coding purpose. And here Llama 3.2 vision, it's mainly focused on camera vision and some image generation things so yeah every model has its specific use case so i have choose 3.1 as my base model so yeah let's see how to download this so here you have the 8b and 70b uh, you can see the storage sizes and yeah i'll choose 8b and uh, everything copy here and yes next step will be after installing your olama executive file you go here and click this arrow icon and you see that this white sheep is appearing here so let's click on right click here and go view logs and it, it just opens a terminal let's go here and this will check if the olama is running or not we see the usage olama flags and etc etc but, but if you don't see a icon here then you might not install your olama file properly or maybe there's some issues while installing so make sure you have installed it properly then we go paste the olama run 3.1 here also i want to tell you that i have already installed the olama 3.1 so i'm just gonna take the 3.2 here for now and uh, this is also a quite small model so let's go for 3.2 i just change this to 3.2 so it's downloading up to 2 gb so let's wait take a coffee break if you want the model is successfully installed and here you see that it's asking me uh, to send a message so um let's say hi how can i assist you today your name i don't have a personal name but if you see it is recognizing me as a goddess so i'll ask another time remember my name you see that the model is remembering the previous conversations and taking my name as a feedback so now let's do this through our vs code we call this as a model dot pi yeah we're gonna go create a new terminal let's go pip install olama and it's gonna install the whole dependency which we need to call the olama model through our python code right so it's very simple code guys just this eight ten lines of code just we're gonna import the olama we're gonna initialize the olama dot client we say the model as we're gonna take this as 3.2 and inside a while loop i'm asking for an input to type on the terminal and then it just sends the input to the olama and i'm getting the reply that's it so let's go run this file and yep it's asking for me uh, input hello yeah hello i gotta assist you today draft me a python code to blink inbuilt led in audio you know so let's click enter so you see the ai has gave me the script it just told me to use pi serial library to control audio using python so now i'm gonna tell you how to personalize this ai so in order to make this as a real chat assistant which tony stark uses in the marvel movies so that is cool right so let's deep dive into this process it's also very simple guys just you know gonna create a new file and say this as model file without an extension from llama 3.2 which is the base model you can also use any models you have then 
we go system so inside these triple codes you can specify anything that you want your ai to be at first i'm gonna give this instruction to my ai wrap text is not enabled so let's go click here on plain text and go here call this as markdown so it wraps the text here so you can see you are kati a smart productive female ai assistant help to design cartels and etc etc <laughs> This is your nickname, sir. Kati Singh, Kati, etc. This is what a basic model file will look like. Here you say the goals of your model and your behavior of your model and what your model should avoid, etc. You can add n number of options here. It's based on your creativity, guys. So now let's integrate this model file into our AI. So let's see how to do that. So for that, just note down this Olama create. So now specify a specific name to your model. So let's say this as Kati AI model minus F and then specify the whole path of your model file so you see i have specified my project location here and with the model file at the end file this will automatically go inside this file and check for the base model which is llama 3.2 and create a specific model with ai model name you provided and it integrates this instructions into that model so let's click on enter and you see that so now you see here using existing layer and it has created a specific model with the message as success so let's again run olama list and here you see uh, how many models you just have in your pc i have my uh, model called kati ai model which is the latest model which i have modified 29 seconds ago and uh, this is the llama 3.2 which we have downloaded just 11 minutes ago and these are my old models so in order to call this kati ai model the, you need to specify the exact ai model i think so there's issue with the terminal because it's uh, asking me here hi let's say hi and here you go how can i assist you today there's something error with the terminal okay now man so also we go in our python file we need to change this model name as we change this as kati ai model which should be exactly the specific ai name kati ai model and now we'll run this file again now we ask what is the ai name i'm katie <laughs> what are your nicknames then you see my nicknames are katie Kate. yeah actually we'll also ask what are your goals my goals are to keep changing to stay productive and focused encouraging smart work just before ending this video i want to show you what the real AI model looks like. Hey, Katie. Hi, Katie. What can I help you with today? Generate a code for Arduino to blink LED using Python and with Python serial because I want to control it through a Python. I think you meant to say Arduino library instead of Python. Would you like me to provide the code snippet for this project? Yeah, please generate a full code. So this is the AI which I was working for. So I'll be making this tutorial soon. So stay tuned. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching, guys.